Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Big Tone Music Brewery British Overdrive. Big Tone Music Brewery is the sister company of Build Your Own Clone. So these guys have been making, making it easy for people like you and me out there to build our own clone of cool pedals, and now they're doing it themselves. And this is a very cool pedal. Before I tell you all about it, I'll tell you about everything in the signal chain. I'm playing my 1969 Gibson ES340. Um, it's all stock, except for these are DiMarzio pickups. Uh, they're PAFs. I'm running an Astro cable into the overdrive, and that's being powered by a Voodoo Labs pedal power. From there, I'm going into a Mesa Boogie Lone Star that's in the clean channel, basically flat, and that's running into an Apache Quartet, and then into Pro Tools. So, guitar, pedal, Pro Tools. So, what they went for here is a basically a reproduction of the Marshall Bluesbreaker pedal, which is a great pedal that's getting hard to find. Now, if you're in the vintage mode, which we were in as I came in, that's that tone. So coming in, I had everything basically flat, maybe volume up a tiny bit and gain up a little bit in vintage. And here's what we're like. What I like about it right off the bat is it's a very realistic, ampy kind of tone. And how some pedals give you a uh, annoying high end, this doesn't have that. But you have tons of options as far as the EQ goes. It's a very expressive EQ. So I'm gonna keep it in the vintage mode for now and just spin the knobs and you kind of see what it does. Uh, right here you got treble and you got bass um, stacked up on this pedal right here, on this knob. So here we go. Treble up. Treble back. I kind of like that treble back a little bit, but I think in the middle is sort of the sweet spot. Bass, let's pump that up. back down cool so those are pretty I guess kind of what you'd expect but where it gets interesting is in the mids because you can control which frequency you're going to add or subtract so if you say bring the mids all the way down and you can kind of scoop what whatever frequency you want. So here we go. That's all out in that frequency. Or pump them all the way up. So that you can almost get, you can kind of dial in whatever you want, kind of that cocked wah sound or put it in the, uh, in the other setting in the crunch and get that kind of dime bag thing. In fact, why don't we go ahead and go over to the crunch side so you can see what that sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to set the EQ flat and then bring it from the vintage to the crunch. So here we are on vintage. Here's crunch. Just for uh, 
giggles. Let's go ahead and dime this pig and see what it does. Just for giggles, I'm going to go ahead and goose up the bass as well. Probably not the treble, but let's bring the bass all the way up too. <laughs> Okay, let's try some single coil, see what it does with a Telecaster. Okay, now we're in single coil land. Let's switch it to vintage and see what we get. EQ's flat, gain, and uh, volume's up a little bit. <laughs> crunch setting. Man, I love it. I mean, I think I prefer the crunch sound with this. I'm going to go ahead and just turn the crunch all the way up, see what it does. Wowza. So those are the basic details on the Big Tone Music Brewery British Overdrive. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our ever-growing YouTube channel. Till next time. <laughs>